next Saturday morning at 9 for more real-world adventures. Right here on Discovery Kids. Your world, your adventure. Inside the parlors on Tattoo, Beauty, Art, and Pain. Then the risks and hazards of the twisted lives of contortionists. Later, the practice of body piercing. Tonight on the Discovery Channel. You know, what we do here at Paris Island is awesome. Being a Marine is absolutely phenomenal. Wait a second. Put those legs out. Let's go. It takes commitment. It takes a lot of courage. All the way to the end. We never give up. We never give up. Let's go. Marine Guard. Bella Wood, Iwo Jima, Inchon, Quezon. These are only a few of the battlefields upon which the proud history of the United States Marine Corps has been written since 1775. Through the years, uniforms, weapons, and methods of training have changed, but the spirit of the Marine Corps has remained the same. Honor, courage, commitment. I'm pretty excited about uh, basic training. I've heard it's pretty tough, but uh, a lot of people made it through, so I hope I will too. Marine Corps recruit training is a 12-week ordeal designed to instill basic military knowledge, self-discipline, confidence, and high moral standards, as well as pride, respect, and a love of Corps and country. How many recruits do you have? I don't know what to expect. I just want to come out and you know, be a Marine. Male and female recruits go through an identical 64-day training cycle which challenges both the mind and the body. I heard it's tough. You just got to stay motivated and you have to keep your mind set on your goals. I'm very nervous. Most of my friends told me they think I'm going to die here. Uh, my family thinks I'm crazy. I've served myself for the past eight years, and I want to do something more for my country. The Marines believe in order to learn how to function successfully as a team, recruits must lose some of their individuality. So the words I, you, and me are removed from their vocabulary. Recruits are required to refer to themselves only in the third person. The average age of those reporting to Marine Corps recruit training is 19. I don't know why we're looking all over the place. Well, let's try to ask up right now. Okay, aye, sir, say it. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. Go louder. Aye, 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 sir. aye, sir. Now, when I get a command, get on this bus. You and I are here. Now get off this bus and get on my yellow footprints right there. Do you understand me? Yes, yes sir. sir. You lost your mind. You understand me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Myself being the first person that they, they encounter when they arrive here, I feel that I have a duty of instilling the, uh, the precedence, per se, what they should uh, expect from here on out. Yeah, I try to shock them real quick with just quick, uh, loud voices. Once you're here, it's time to train. You want to be a Marine? I'm going to make you a Marine. Yeah, on the very footprint you're standing, tens of thousands of Marines have stood before you, many of which have given their life in defense of our core and country. Are you prepared to do the same? Yes, yes sir! You, are you prepared to do the same? Yes, yes sir! You man, what weapons? Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! You better not be left! Hurry up! He'll go! He'll go! Hurry up, faster! Are we special over here? Why are you doing? Not touching our heel. Not trying to look at me. No, I did not. Now, from here on out, when you're told to do something, you will say, I, sir, or I, ma'am, and do it. Do you understand me? Yes, sir! Do you understand me? Yes, sir! Now, 
If I ask you a question, you respond with a yes sir or no sir or whatever the case might be, acknowledging you do or do not understand. Do you understand me? Yes sir! I don't doubt it. Yes sir! Get up in line. Get your toes on his heels right now. Move up. Move up! Come here, come here, yo, come here, yo, yo, yo. Come here, come here. I guess you missed that little speech I gave out front. No, so, sir. Something about when you're told to do something, you say something, huh? No, sir. I just ever got that! Hurry no, up. sir! Well, what do you say? Yes, sir! No, that ain't what you say. I told you, get over there and get in line. Aye, sir! Okay! Go! Go! Aye, okay. sir! Aye, Aye, sir. Get back! Come here! Yes, Come here! Go get in line! Aye, sir! Because after that, I'll get them on the phones to where they make their initial phone call home. Just let mom and dad, sister, brother, recruiter, just someone that knows that they came here, that they've arrived safely at Paris Island. You're going to call your loved ones. Let them know you've arrived safely at Paris Island. You ain't got time to talk. You're right later. Bye. 30 seconds and your time is ticking. Pick up the phone and dial it now. Hey, I'm here. I got to go. All right. Uh, but I'm here. That's all I have to tell you. That's all I can tell you, okay? That is it. That's all you have to tell them. Once you've okay, that phone go call, you okay. And after they make the phone calls, they get some uh, some paperwork started to where this begins their initial service record book to where it gets them in the system and gets them rolling as far as, okay, now they're a recruit, they're part of the government. Then, after we get done with that, they go into what they call hygienics. Hygienics is where they get stripped down totally of all their civilian attire and get rebuilt from the socks up with totally new issue of socks, skivvy drawers, skivvy shirts, uniforms, boots, everything that I want them to get started off in, in recruit training. Good morning, recruits. Good morning, sir! We report the platoon to the uh, company commander, tell him all accounted for, whoever's not there, et cetera, et cetera. He tells us, basically, carry on, goodbye, thanks a lot, see you next time around. And that's when his drill instructors come out, they give the oath to train these recruits. These recruits are trust in my care. I will train them to the best of my ability. I will train them to the best of my ability. This training platoon will be going through the next 64 training days in a team week together as one unit. And it's their first introduction to the company from which they've been assigned. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Fantel. I am your senior drill instructor. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. For we have earned our place as Marines and we'll accept nothing less than that from you. We will treat you just as we do our fellow Marines, with firmness, fairness, dignity, and compassion. At no time will you be physically or verbally abused by any Marine or recruit. If anyone should abuse you or mistreat you, I expect you to report such incidents immediately to me or one of my drill instructors. You must give 100% of yourself at all times. You must obey all orders quickly, willingly, and without question. Above all else, you must never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of recruit training, the opportunity to earn the title United States Marine. Just like recruits, <laughs> drill instructors must complete a grueling training program consisting of physical conditioning, drill, and classroom study. The job of drill instructor is a highly respected and sought after position inside the Corps. Drill instructors are screened thoroughly to make sure that we're getting Marines here that are leaders, that, are, that have performed well in the Marine Corps, and they're the individuals that we need to come down here to be the role models for recruits. The school is 11 and a half weeks long, so 56 training days. So it's a pretty demanding and challenging course that they go through here. We basically do everything with the drill instructors that the recruits go through. We not only execute the physical training, but we also instruct them on how to instruct and work with recruits in that training. There's, there's a lot of truth to the, the idea of uh, drill instructors having this unique approach to their duty, screaming, shouting. Get out! Get out! Nowadays, the job of a drill instructor, in, in my opinion, is a much harder job because you don't just run around and yell, scream all day. Now you have to actually teach them and you know, mold them, and you have to be more involved with the recruit than, than just standing off from a distance, making sure that they move at your uh, every order. And you also uh, have a time now as a drill instructor that I didn't have where you actually take your campaign cover off in order to accomplish this mission. And I think we do a very good job of it. Two commanders should be who? Staff, staff NCO, sir. Staff NCO. 
There are approximately 600 drill instructors working on Paris Island at all times. Just getting hotter and faster, just like I told you it would. You understand me, 44? 17,000 Marines graduate every year. One in five of those who try don't make it through boot camp. I don't think the recruiters can ever really prepare them for what happens here. They get off that bus here in the middle of the night and they're facing the greatest unknown that they've ever been looking at. The training immediately begins. They start learning uh, how to get from point A to point B in an organized, uh, disciplined manner. And they start understanding Marine Corps rules, basic customs and courtesies, uh, everything from uh, how to properly wear the uniform, get up in the morning, go to the chow hall to uh, life-saving steps in an academic classroom. Ready! Front! What we're looking at now is uh, Lima Company, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The platoons are on training day 19, and they're being evaluated at this early stage of training on their proficiency at basic drill movements. Order! Ups. Well, not only are the recruits being evaluated, the drill instructors being evaluated for correctness of movement. Present! Position of attention. Correct yourself. As far as my platoon today, I'm, I'm proud of them. You know, a couple kids messed up, but I've had worse. As long as they go out there and they put forth 100% effort and they try their hardest to go out there and do the right things that they're taught, then honestly, you can't be mad at them. Change step! March! Left, right, left, right! Drill is really the only thing where they get to go out there as a unit and snap and pop and show their discipline and their bearing and what they've learned and their ability to work as a unit and that's that's what it's all about by the left flank march no good no pt or physical training is part of the daily routine of boot camp to graduate marines must be able to perform 3 pull-ups 50 crunches in 2 minutes and run three miles in under 28 minutes. Any recruit who cannot meet these minimum requirements by training day 21 will be sent to a physical conditioning platoon, or PCP, where they will spend extra time working on their strength and stamina. Two and a half mile run, the circuit course, and then we're gonna do the daily 16 one more time, you understand me? So it's just getting hotter and faster, you understand that? Now they're on what we call our uh, circuit course. It's 11 stages. The circuit course is strength and endurance exercises. Uh, each drill instructor will have a group of recruits. They'll put them on the obstacles, and they'll exercise on a set uh, time period, probably 30 seconds per obstacle. They'll do as, uh, as many repetitions on the obstacle as they can. Get off my bars now. Comma now. Go now. We better be flying, yes, they're now. A doggone blur, you got that? Initially, there is a lot of in-your-face yelling and screaming, demanding and teaching because they just don't know uh, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and how fast to do it. I sure, I sure, I you, I sure, I sure. After the first three or four weeks of training, when the recruits become more accustomed to the daily routine down here, you'll see the drill instructor take on a, a little bit different twist. As we progress through the training cycle, the drill instructor becomes more of a mentor. Match, heat up, tight. Training Day 25 begins a week of combat water survival instruction, deemed vital by the Marine Corps because of losses suffered during World War II. Conducting beach assaults, Marines leapt from landing craft into water over their heads. Dressed in heavy battle gear, many sank and drowned. The drill instructors drop the recruits off here on Monday morning and they vanish. The recruits are under a, a lot of stress. They don't understand exactly what the qualifications are at this point. They just know that they're about to put on all this gear and try to swim in the water. The gear is very cumbersome and weighs almost 65 pounds when they're fully dressed. 
safety's pan out. There's always an inspector with an arm's reach of the recruit with uh, two sets of uh, rescue equipment. Uh, it's an awesome thing to be able to teach this many people some good survival techniques, which count. Although kept separate from one another, male and female recruits endure the same tough training. Hands under, hands, let's go. The Marine Corps believes gender segregation enables recruits to concentrate on the tasks at hand without distraction. Furthermore, they claim working as a single sex platoon helps foster a sense of camaraderie and self-confidence. The confidence course for the female recruits builds a confidence within themselves that they can see an obstacle that in their mind they think when they first come out, there's no way I can do this. And when we put them on the obstacle and they make it over it, it just, it's a transformation in the recruits right there. It's like, I conquered that fear. I know I can do anything else after this. It puts it in their mind that if they think it and they believe it, they can do it. This obstacle is called the slide for life. This is the one where you see the most fear come out of the recruits. They stand at the edge of the platform, they look over, and they see the water. The reason there's no safety nets on this obstacle is because of the water. It's deep enough so if they were to accidentally fall, the water would break their fall. Walk to the side, put your feet down. Now put your feet down. Better start singing. Get down, boy. Sure, don't trip on. When the drill instructors are making corrections and they're raising their voice to the recruits, it's because they are doing something wrong that the drill instructor has to correct. It may not seem like it, but to the recruits, it is a motivating thing. No! Get down! Get down! This program is brought to you in part by For a Solution to Your Pest Problems. Call 1-800-TERMINIX. No bugs, no hassles. Lucky termites. Think this is a free lunch? It's not. Call 1-800-TERMINIX for our termite baiting program with a lifetime protection plan. Termites, enjoy your last meal. For a free inspection, call 1-800-TERMINIX. They say the trick to riding the rapids is staying alert. Like my Subaru Outback. It's got full-time all-wheel drive, so it's always on the alert. Ready with the traction you need. The second you need it. Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. Of course, where I come from, they don't require a helmet. Then again, they don't require a kayak either. Now you can get financing as low as 2.9% APR on all 2001 Subaru models. When your business is small, managing infrastructure and relationships is easy. But with growth, complexity develops. Friction points arise. Efficiencies are lost. That's why 90% of the Fortune 500 use solutions from Peregrine. Peregrine software eliminates friction points. The right people have the right tools and the right answers. And then they can really perform. Peregrine Systems. Frictionless business. This business is a lot like a marriage, with a little work and a lot of love. We've made this place a success together. And that's what partnerships are about, right? I need to be there for each other, no matter what. Of course I supported him when he asked his doctor about Viagra. I'm proud of him because he did it for us. Ask your doctor about a free sample and call us toll free to find out how Viagra can work best for you. Get ready to experience the adventure. Universal Pictures presents The Mummy Returns. But how much of it is real? You'd be surprised. The Discovery Channel unwraps the myth and legends. Plus, an exclusive never-seen-before preview of The Mummy Returns. Join host Arnold Vosloo for Mummified, an all-night event. Next Wednesday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on the Discovery Channel. Nothing you've ever seen can prepare you for what's coming. My dad is going to kick your... I did not think so. The Mummy Returns. Rated PG-13. At theaters Friday.
day. Olympic gold medalist and four-time WNBA champion Cynthia Cooper faces her biggest challenge, teaching. When I can motivate a kid to want to learn, that's when I feel like a champion. The tool I use is a basketball, but many teachers use cable in the classroom. With commercial-free educational programs, free study guides, and internet support, cable in the classroom helps teachers become champions. Cable in the classroom is a public service of Discovery Channel and your local cable company. Now we're going to work on your slam dunk. I've always loved working on computers, and in the Army, that's what I do. I set up networks, I troubleshoot, I basically do things I would have never dreamed I'd been able to do before. If you never thought about the U.S. Army or Army Reserve, think about this. There are 212 ways for you to become a soldier and work at a job you'll love. Call for this free video to find out which job is right for you. I'd never really thought of the Army as a choice. Your free video will also give you an idea of what Army life is like, how you can earn money for college, even what questions to ask your recruiter. I'm going to walk away with a lot of memories, a lot of friends, and something that's going to change me for the rest of my life. Call 1-800-959-ARMY for your free video and discover the 212 ways you can be an Army of One. If you would ask me a year ago if I'd be here doing this, uh, I could have never imagined it. I love what I do. I love doing it for the Army. What you say, Craig? Are you awake now, Black? Yo, Black, are you awake? Throughout basic training, all recruits are exposed to various combat scenarios and are expected to use what they've learned to survive. Close combat drills simulate the toughest personal test any soldier might encounter. Go ahead, Grant, you need to say you won. This is Pugil 6-3, which is sort of a culminating event of all the training they've had. All the training out here is built on a building block approach, and at each time they come out here, it gets progressively a little more difficult. So basically, when the recruits are fighting here, what we're looking for is not only that they display some of the skills that they've learned, but just as important are the values that they learn through the, this sort of training. Hey, the whistle means stop. You got to hit fair and square. You know, you freaking take the water right into it. You understand that? The sort of training leads to the development of self confidence. Uh, and then also the development of the warrior spirit. When we talk about warrior spirit, that's nothing more than uh, will or determination to accomplish any given task, no matter what the situation or the environment. Yes, sir! How does warrior work? I decided to become a Marine because a lot of it has to do with being able to stand up for yourself and not having to depend on somebody else and being a stronger person. All the females do the same exact training. They do the same amount of hours of people sick training, bayonet training. No matter if you're in a support billet, behind the lines or in your front lines, uh, there's still a possibility that you may be engaged in a close combat scenario. You have to make sure you watch your opponent and just concentrate on what you're doing because it's really serious. And when you have to go to war, you have to know how to fight. It's a lot of fun. It's just a chance to put everything into it, get out all your aggression, and uh, it's just great to give it your all. Did you win? Yes, sir. What do you say? Marine Guard! All the time, through the darkest time, his light will shine. On any Sunday morning, we have about 10 worship services for the recruits. Church is never mandatory. The reason we have so many is because uh, the chaplains are responsible not only for providing worship services for our own faith groups, but also supporting the uh, rights of other faith groups to have their worship services. They did not tell you about the first three weeks of boot camp, did they? No, sir. They told you about the rappel tower, the gas chamber, the rifle range, the humps, the hikes, the pit, the quarter deck. They didn't tell you about having 20 seconds to get a shower. They find worship to be both a release from the stress of the uh, recruit experience for six days and it gives them the opportunity to come in and, and have a little bit of freedom that they don't normally get throughout the week. Coming to church as a recruit is the most awesome thing. The recruits get four hours of free time in the morning and they get an hour at night and 
the recruits that go to church only get 30 minutes of free time, but this recruit would not give up going to church um, for the free time at all. And this recruit has gone every Sunday. It is the only thing that keeps this recruit motivated. Jerking the trigger. Slow, steady, squeeze to the rear. You understand that? Yes, sir. Trigger control, right? Yes, sir. Training day 36 begins a two week stint at the rifle range, the longest basic weapons training program in any branch of the U.S. military. Okay, Polino. Hurry up and get the target in the air. Okay, I may have something like that. No kidding. Go ahead and snap in when you feel ready. Take a shot. All right, sir. The Marine Corps is known for three big things. Physical fitness, drill and ceremonies, and marksmanship. It's something that means a lot to Marines. Every Marine is a rifleman. It's one of our mottos. Today, the recruits are going through a practice fire, which consists of uh, 70 rounds. They're going to be firing at the 200-yard line, 300, and 500-yard lines. First thing, safety. If I've got one coach per two shooters, the coaches here are in charge of both their training and safety supervision. They're going to be watching over the recruits at all times, ensuring they're doing what they're told and they're practicing the fundamentals of marksmanship. To qualify as a marksman, recruits must also become proficient at night fire. If you feel pressure, then you're going to mess up on the range. You just calm down and just apply the fundamentals. That's what the drill instructors tell us. And you should be able to hit all black become a sniper. All you have to do is just listen to the drill instructors, put out on everything you do here, whether it be PT, sounding off, shooting at the rifle range, and it should be a, it should be a breeze. The crucible is probably the most challenging part for them here at recruit training. This is something they live for, this is something that they worked for for the last 11 weeks. So this last week for them is going to be a do or die for them. I'm very pumped up about the crucible. It's just everything that we've ever done all wrapped up into three days. This recruit is nervous because of the humps. That's the only thing that scares this recruit at this point. The humps and carrying the pack on such a far journey, but this recruit is sure that she'll be able to make it through it. The Crucible was added to recruit training in 1996. It is a 54-hour military exercise that includes some of the toughest aspects of the Army's Ranger School and the Navy SEAL program. It is only after completing the Crucible that a recruit earns the title United States Marine. The Commandant said that we need to get something in recruit training where we could bond these individuals into a team, a collective team. Because if you look out there in the Hall of Heroes, those are not individuals out there, the Medal of Honor winners. Those are people that thought about the team. And that's the most important thing about the Crucible. Afternoon, sir. 3028 series form for academic instruction. Very well. Take a seat. Good afternoon, recruits. Good afternoon, sir! Now, I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about that event we have coming up tomorrow morning, the Crucible. Whether or not you realize this, we have been striving to impart in you throughout the cycle a certain philosophy, a certain mindset. I will refer to that as the warrior spirit. And you must bring that to the Crucible. I promise you this, come Saturday morning, each and every one of you will be walking across that parade deck to receive the Eagle Globe and Anchor and to join our ranks as United States Marines. Man, are we up to the challenge? Yes, sir! Very well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir! Eagle Globe and Anchor, our cherished emblem, it stands for uh, 
uh, the honor, courage, and commitment that thousands before us have laid their lives down for and, and the thousands in the future that uh, could possibly go do the same. It's our heritage, and uh, we take great pride. Uh, when we hand that to someone, uh, that's a symbol that they're one of us. And that's something that's not given away lightly. It, it's earned. Visible to the naked eye. One night of discovery, three real life dramas, the prosecutors, the new detectives, the FBI files. Real people, real stories. You're on the case Tuesdays at 8 on the Discovery Channel. You know the real stuff when you see it. Right now, time on deck is uh, 0150, approximately 10 minutes. Uh, at 02, we'll be turning on the lights, getting ready to uh, start off the crucible. And at that time, we'll go through the basic daily routine and uh, get the recruits in preparation for the start of the crucible event. It's a culminating moment to the recruit training. Kick. Get out right now, hurry up, let's go! Get out right now, hurry up, quickly, quickly, get out right now, hurry up, quickly! Count! Yeah. Huh. The crucible starts with the six mile hike out. Uh, they're going to walk out, uh, get in the sea hut, stage some gear, and then start hitting their events. And for the next uh, 48 hours, they'll be on the move. They're on their feet for you know, 20 hours a day, four hours each day. They will be allowed the opportunity to take care of their feet, eat something, rehydrate, and uh, get some sleep. And then they're back at it. They're back out on their feet. They're carrying everything that they own, moving from point point A to point B, uh, it, and it's a lot of mileage that's covered in that 54-hour period of time. The crucible ends with a nine-mile hike back to the parade deck where they'll have their morning color ceremony and be awarded the Eagle Globe and Anchor for successfully completing uh, three months of recruit training. Why are we taking so long? Get out! Get out now! We got all day or something. Hurry up. Hello, come over the next two and a half days, the recruits will march a total of 40 miles while carrying more than 60 pounds of gear. Along the way, their resilience and problem-solving skills will be tested by 36 different event stations. Every aspect of the crucible is designed to challenge them mentally and physically. By 0600, the recruits, now broken down into teams of 14 to 16, are tackling their first event. The mission is to come up and engage targets on the firing line here. They'll come up, they'll assume cover behind one of the uh, pre-assembled areas up here, rock pile, wall, uh, covered bunker, and uh, they'll engage the targets. They'll proceed down another trail where they may encounter some simulated artillery. Uh, in the event that someone is injured uh, during the simulated uh, artillery attack, 
the patrol will be required to evacuate that victim. We've got to get her to the I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. We got to get her there. It sounds like a CH-53 coming into me. I'm in. You better get her over there. Otherwise, she's going to die. We still have a chance, Tim Harrow. We still have a chance, Flynn. We, uh... Just went from a tactical that carry, went to the tree lines, the went up to our targets, that and paper, shot off 10 rounds each. We did very well, and then we mustered over here, and Big Bomb went off, and we all hit the deck. And this crew had to carry a recruit Irvine back all by herself. Very heavy recruit, and we made it. 19-year-old recruit Joey Casella was raised in Naugatuck, Connecticut. After two semesters of community college, Joey decided that she needed more self-discipline before continuing her studies, so she turned to the Marines. I had people tell me I won't make it this far, and I didn't think I'd make it this far. It's two, we as two weeks into it, I thought for sure I would be going on the bus home, but I'm glad I stuck it out, and I'm glad I'm here today. 21-year-old recruit Gary Weil grew up in Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. He joined the Marines because he was looking for a challenge and was ready to get his life on track. Everyone who's, here, who's made it this far has changed enormously. You can, I can't even imagine how much they've changed since they've first stepped on this island. And now it's just a test. No, no, under no, the no, arms, no, under no, the stop, arms. Stop right there, stop. I know I read in a safety brief, at no time will you drag another recruit by his arms or by his legs. The only way you will carry him is underneath his armpits. You understand that? Yes, sir. If you feel motivated, let us hear you yell. We did some obstacles that required a lot of teamwork. Went through, uh, we scaled up a big, uh, what was it, sort of? A wall? A wall? It was a, a really big wall we scaled up and uh, tried to pull the recruits over the wall. Drive us like Jack. Drive us like Jack. Keep going. Keep going. That's it, man. You got it. Come on. We made it this far into boot camp. It's almost over. Just hang in there. The relationship that we utilize out here in the crucible is different than what the recruits are initially brought into when they enter and recruit train. What's another positive thing we got here? Go ahead, Heinz. If we're still trying to yell or if we're still trying to intimidate through voices, we wouldn't get nothing accomplished as far as they go. We're trying to let them in, let them feel like they're coming in to be a part of the family. And they're going to feel a little more comfortable accepting the title. Mm -hmm. All right, Reaction stations at the Crucible are specifically designed to challenge recruits mentally. The stations are like puzzles. Recruits must piece together a physical solution using minimal tools and adhering to specific rules. To encourage teamwork, even under seemingly impossible circumstances, some stations are intentionally designed to be unsolvable. Because you didn't get over there properly, right? So why are you over there trying to catch the rope? If that's the way it's supposed to be, the directions were set, put half the team on one side and half the team on the other. I'm in! The whole team's on this side. Let's throw a over recruit. Pretty great, actually. This has some blisters on her feet and hurt her knee somehow. I knew that it'd be physically challenging and a lot of mental work, but nothing like this. The morale of the recruits here at day one on the Crucible is, is pretty high. Uh, they're motivated. Uh, they're, a lot of them have blisters on their feet, and so that's causing them some problems. But uh, all in all, they're doing real well. Some of them, uh, every now and then, want a little encouragement, especially if they're hurting. And so I'll come and I'll pray with them, and uh, we'll just talk and encourage them a little bit and just say, I know it hurts like heck, but just keep going, because you don't have much longer to go, and you'll be a Marine. When your business is small, managing infrastructure and relationships is easy. But with growth, complexity develops. Friction points arise. Efficiencies are lost. 
That's why 90% of the Fortune 500 use solutions from Peregrine. Peregrine software eliminates friction points. The right people have the right tools and the right answers, and then they can really perform. Peregrine Systems. Frictionless business. Lucky you. Your local True Value has everything you need to take care of life's little surprises. And you'll get in and out fast. Just in time to take care of whatever comes up next. True Value. Help is just around the corner. It's April's Bargains of the Month. Get a True Value trash can for just $6.99. Green Thumb Weed and Feed is only $5.99. And WD-40 is only a dollar a can at True Value. Across America, families are sleeping easier. They called 1-800-TERMINEX for a lifetime protection plan covering repairs on any new termite damage. Want a security blanket for your home? For a free inspection, call 1-800-TERMINEX. Information is everywhere. It's that kind of world. But being financially successful isn't about getting information. It's about getting the right information from the right financial advisor. Morgan Stanley. Move your money. Get well connected. At Michelin, we know there's only one safety feature on the road that actually touches the road. That's why we're introducing the Michelin Cross Terrain SUV tire. Because we designed it specifically for SUVs, you get a level of handling and responsiveness you never thought possible in an SUV. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Tomorrow, Nigel Marvin ventures too close to the water's edge. This could swallow a deer hole. And swims with the world's largest and most powerful snake. I'm swimming with a yellow anaconda. Grappling with the unmatched strength of the anaconda. It could swim straight. The power of that can stop me breathing. Nigel's Wild Wild World. Tomorrow at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on the Discovery Channel. Some people look at something like this and see only trash. I see innovation. Some folks would call this a blight on the landscape. Not a blight! Not a blight! I refer to it as lady ingenuity. Some think this is worthless. The good to be forgotten. When I look across these pretty chunks of twisted, rusted metal, I see the mother of all inspiration. Junkyard Wars, Monday nights at 8 on TLC. Tonight, inside the parlors on Tattoo, Beauty, Art, and Pain. Then the risks and hazards of the twisted lives of contortionists. Later, the practice of body piercing. Tonight on the Discovery Channel. Some people will watch anything. But for everyone else, the Total Choice Platinum Package from DirecTV gives you the ultimate in entertainment. 32 premium movie channels. Over 25 great sports channels. Plus over 100 general entertainment channels. When you stop spinning your wheels, order the Total Choice Platinum Package from DirecTV and do your hamster a favor. Put his cage in front of the TV. There's a sound that hitting a home run, it makes like no other sound out there. And it's just so short, sweet, easy, boom. It's almost effortless. There's really no feel. You just hear. You know it's gone. Put your head down, run around. MLB Extra Innings on DirecTV. Get up to 35 out-of-market games a week and pay just $149. Swing a long one. In the left. Goodbye baseball. Upper deck. Upper deck. As of right now, we're on day two of the Crucible. We just got a taste of what the Crucible was yesterday, and they just ready to get it on today. Right now, they're moving fast, they're sounding off, they're having a good time. It's a little damp today and cold, getting hungry. But other than that, tired? No, so that four hour power nap really woke me up. You're tired, you got that? Fatigue's gonna really start taking a toll on the lack of chow. Um, being on the run for two and a half days straight and the marching is me miles a week. We're gone. Wake up, baby. Hi, sir. You see no time? 
you fall asleep. If, here at recruit training, we never really know what time it is know. during the day. We don't really have a clock. We don't wear watches. There's no clock in the, in the squad bay, so we just go with the flow of things. And it's it's actually better not knowing what time it is because you don't watch the time. Then when it's dark, I know it's it's close to time to hit in the rack. And when it's dark, I know it's time to get up again. <laughs> the cohesion that they that they formed yesterday is going to start to peel away a little bit, and it's going to take leadership of the drone stars, the team leaders, to pull them back in. It's difficult, but this is the best part of the cool cruise crew out here. This is something that I've wanted for a long time, and it's finally coming true. Be part of the best of the best. Show people that I can do it. Plus, being here, you just learn that there's something that goes on. When you first come here, it's really hard, but you start to become part of a team, and then you progress with the team, and you want to be the best that you can be. Being the best for 21-year-old Mark Flavin meant traveling down a long, tough road. Six months after Mark's mother died, he phoned his father, declaring, Dad, I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of my lifestyle. I'm tired of working in fast food restaurants. I'm joining the Marines. His father was proud of Mark, but also apprehensive about his decision. After all, how could someone weighing 365 pounds ever hope to join the military, especially the Marines? In order for him to get to recruit training, he had to make a significant weight loss. He lost over 140, 150 pounds in the debt program in order to come to recruit training, and then an additional 50 or so since he's been here. And due to his significant weight loss, he lost a lot of strength and upper body mass in his, in, uh, and what that held, that held him from meeting the minimum standards for the Marine Corps. And so we have a, we have a program here on the depot that we use, it's called the Physical Conditioning Platoon. And uh, I got him from there after being there for two months. But his, his perseverance, he was there. He was so motivated. He's one of my better recruits through the whole beginning of the cycle. And it's just overwhelming for him. You can see a glow about him every time you look at him. He's like walking on cloud nine. Communication, there's been a decline, and that's strictly due to the way they're uh, they're starting to get fatigued. Right foot, knees high, ready, stop. Pick your knees up when I say ready. On something, Conley. We had such beautiful weather yesterday. Now it's toward it's probably 20 degrees cooler than when it was yesterday. They've already been soaking wet this morning. They're a little cold. Hey, look at me now. Look at me now. Take those back to the beginning and start again. Uh -huh. This morning I was cold, tired, I was hungry. Just ate some chow now though, got their cold weather gear on. So I'm feeling a lot better than I was this morning. So we got one more event to do, and then a night hump tonight, then a nine mile hump back home tomorrow. So we've all made it, I'm convinced. There's nothing that can stop us now. This is your Here cold is. weather training, right? Yes, ma'am. Hey, G.I. Jane ain't got nothing on me. G.I. Jane ain't got nothing on me. This is life, and that's a movie. This is life, and that's a movie. This is the last night of the Crucible. Last motivating night. It's all over with. We have about 12 more hours to go. And four of them being asleep. We're tired. Not we're tired. We're all bickering. We're all bickering. We're completely delirious, ma'am. Who? Your crew chats and your crew calls are, ma'am. These recruits are out of it, ma'am. These recruits have been dying of laughter all day long. and These recruits are starving. These can bobulate it again, huh? Yes, ma'am. Number one thing is teamwork, being committed, knowing what you're doing and doing it quickly. Because any of this that we've all been through was a wartime situation. This recruit would be scared because this recruit would probably have been dead over and over again. But this is very good practice. Very good. The crucible has enhanced.
against all of what the drone instructors have been trying to teach us for the past 11 weeks that we've been on the island. It's put it all of what these crews have learned into two days, two and a half days. This cruise is looking forward to the nine mile hump and seeing the Iwo Jima statue and getting the Eagle Grove and Anchor. Let's look at the structural significance of the dome. You see, its circular design allows maximum volume in a minimum space. So an amazing number of people can fit in a relatively small area. A design so efficient, it's a wonder domes aren't seen more often today. Right now, look for special offers on the new Beetle at your local Volkswagen dealer. What am I? An ogre who didn't fit in. Back! Back, They judged me before they even know me. A donkey who needed a friend. You don't know what it's like to be considered a freak. Well, maybe you do, but that's why we gotta stick together. And the princess who brought out the best. Man, isn't this romantic. In everyone. Uh, Shrek! It's no way to behave in front of a princess. Uh, She's as nasty as you are. Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, John Lithgow. Shrek, rated PG. Starts May 18th everywhere. Is there an insurance company with a 148-year history of proving that your trust is not misplaced? Without question, the St. Paul. When your business is small, managing infrastructure and relationships is easy. But with growth, complexity develops. Friction points arise. Efficiencies are lost. That's why 90% of the Fortune 500 use solutions from Peregrine. Peregrine software eliminates friction points. The right people have the right tools and the right answers, and then they can really perform. Peregrine Systems, frictionless business. It killed my father, it killed my brother, and both my sisters. Pancreatic cancer killed them all. We don't know how or why they got it, but we knew it and it was already too late. There still isn't any way to detect it early or to treat it effectively. But we do know the cure, research. Just look how far we've come with other diseases. Every Wednesday, Fire. real facts, real people, real stories. He still lies in the city that I swore to protect. From the extreme. <laughs> to extreme science. Your brain immediately says, get out of the water. The stories of true survivors. Now someone else knows that I didn't commit the crime. Hi, I'm Len Cannon. Join host Len Cannon and correspondents from around the globe. Deadline Discovery, every Wednesday at 10, Eastern and Pacific, only on the Discovery Channel. By dawn on day three of the Crucible, the exhausted recruits are only a few miles away from their goal of becoming Marines. You make it? I'm in. The recruit Flint um, was placed in a uh, medical rehab platoon earlier in training, and she has a similar uh, problem today. It's um, a problem with her foot, and we've been monitoring her at every stop and along the way just to make sure she's not going to you know, hurt herself any further. You can't judge the pain. That's up to the recruits. If she gets to a point that she's not going to be able to participate, we're going to have to pull her out of this event. Um, at one point, that would be uh, grounds for dropping a recruit, but it would be up to their uh, company commander whether they're going to drop her from the event and not let her graduate. Well, did you see the corpsman? Did you see the corpsman? What did he tell you? This recruit's fine, ma'am. Did you follow the rear? Jones, I want you to no, sit down. No, ma'am. I want you to do this. Is it wrap? Yeah. Sit down. Ma is it wrap? Yes, ma'am. We're good? Stop your feet, yes, ma'am. Straighten this gear. Let's cover up, Johnson. Straighten this gear. Let's go. You're looking like dog on all jumbled up. Big cluster. Watch it. Watch it. Straighten it up. This recruit had a previous stress fracture, ma'am. 
nine weeks ago, and she was at MRP for nine your weeks, cold, and um, it's healed already, but okay, it's kind of aggravated right, right now. But this recruit's going to finish, ma'am. Great. And what keeps you going in the pain and the tires? Sure. This recruit's good daughter. Hungry? She hasn't yes, seen for the last six hungry. months. Ah, this is her, ma'am. She was 14 months old when this recruit left. Oh, she's going to finish. Yes, she's going to go see her baby. And we're going to fall in at the rear. You got that? We're going to do Well, I remember this crowd when they first got here on the island. And the change is unbelievable. You know, they got here and there were 130 individuals, and now they're working as a unit. And even, yeah, since they got to the Crucible, they, they're working better together. You know, they're, they're really encouraging each other a lot more than they ever did. So it's been, it's neat to watch. Why don't you just go home? This is the home stretch here. Some of them are going to be struggling, but they are not about to stop. They're not about to stop. So, so push all the way through. Um, all my team members, they've all been really helpful with me. I was ready to just quit yesterday morning, but they wouldn't let me. Here I am. We're all helping each other get through this. Just got to get a little way up the street, around the corner, and we're there. It's been a long, a long time. Gone through a lot to get here, and gone through a lot here. But it's, I'm glad, I'm very glad it's coming to an end. But I couldn't have done it without anybody here. Everyone here supported me, 110 percent of the way. They've taught me that you can't give up on yourself, no matter what your limitations are. some the beginning of a new life but whether they serve for three years or 30 years the past 12 weeks of strict harsh physically grueling training has turned these recruits not into just good marines but into better people with a love of corps and country that some say never fades with time to see the pride that those kids feel that they've worked for for 11 weeks at that point and knowing knowing what they feel because you went through it at one time yourself and you know exactly what it means to them. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. We make Marines here at Paris Island, basically trained Marines. And, and from here, the fleet shines them up and, and turns them into some wonderful examples of future leaders of our nation. It's an honorable thing that's done down here. So uh, it's something that we take great pride in. And, and I think everyone would agree it's, it's definitely worthwhile. To purchase a home video of the program you just saw, 
Call now to order. For only $19.95. The waves are kind of small.